Let's continue and see what the Lord Jesus Christ said. He said, look, I throw or cast her into bed and the people committing adultery with her into great pressure, except they may repent out from her works. And I will kill her children. This is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. Remember we saw that he, his eyes are a flame of fire and his feet are burning bronze. Yes, he's going to implement the judgment. There is no escape for those who will not repent, who will not change their minds. He said, I will kill their children. I will put an end to their lives. That is figuratively referring to any of the people to whom she had taught her doctrine and who performed what she instructed. So the Lord Jesus Christ will put an end to it, to those people that reject him. And how will he put an end to it? That end will be in death. And that will be the second or final death, which we will look at again in Revelation chapter 20 and in verse 14. The Lord Jesus Christ continues and he says, And all the churches will know, all those in the assemblies will personally know that emphatically I, I myself, am the one who is searching are tracking the kidneys and that of course refers to your passion your inner purposes and desires those things that guide you from inside you your passion and the hearts the hearts refers to the center or core of your being the seat of your personal life your living and I will give to you each individually particularly each person according to your words works the Lord Jesus Christ will give to each one according to your works the Lord Jesus Christ continues and he says but I say to you the rest of the people in Thyatira emphatically and specifically as many people as do not have this teaching what teaching that teaching that he had talked about in verse 20 where a lot of the people in the church were misbehaving see the Lord Jesus Christ has given them the opportunity to repent and to help all of the church to be able to clean up their act as it were in the church so that they could all turn back to God and to his son the Lord Jesus Christ and start behaving correctly do what God wants do what the Lord Jesus Christ wants them to do and he says but to you the rest of the people in Thyatira as many people as do not have this teaching the people who did not know the deep things of Satan you know they didn't try and find out all those intricacies of Satan's working that's not where it's at you see the church in Thyatira should have been concentrating on God and his son the Lord Jesus Christ and how they would want them to behave and live their lives so as many people as do not have this teaching who do not know the deep things of Satan as they say I do not cast down on you another pressured weight something that would cause extra or additional burden on you the Lord Jesus Christ says, I'm not going to give you an additional burden. But he says, besides what you must exert with your forceful strength, holding it continuously until wherever I may come. The Lord Jesus Christ is exhorting them to stay put on God's word. Do what God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, say. Stay put on it. Hold it fast until such time as I will come because I'm definitely arriving and he continues and he says the person being victorious gaining the victory conquering and the person keeping is keeping an eye out on keeping in safekeeping maintaining being observant 
of my works. That's the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the works of Satan, but the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep an eye on my works continuously until the completion. All the ways up until the completion, the complete thing. I will give to him authority, permitted right, upon the nations. That word nations refers to all of those of any background, any ethnic group. Usually when reading this word in the New Covenant writings, it refers to those of the Gentile background as opposed to those of the Israeli or Judean background. Jesus Christ says, I will give to him authority upon the nations, and he will shepherd them. You know what a shepherd does? A shepherd takes care of his sheep. The Lord Jesus Christ says that this person who is victorious will be given authority upon nations, those of any ethnic background, and he will shepherd them. He will take care of them and protect them. He will exercise the whole office of a shepherd. Of course, that would include, as it were, feeding the flock, leading them, guiding them, guarding them. He will shepherd them within the sphere of action of an iron rod. That refers to a staff for training or a scepter of authority. Now, this is not something bad. It's something that would help anybody with authority to take care of those within their flock, within their assembly, within those that they have authority over. And it's referring to the fact that it's iron, it's referring to the fact that it's strong. It will not be damaged. It will not be bribed or twisted from performing its correct function. It won't get all out of whack as many of those in the church in Thyatira had. The Lord Jesus Christ will give authority to those being victorious, and they will shepherd other people within the sphere of action of an iron rod. As vessels are implements, the pottery vessels are crushed, figuratively referring to the fact that those who would not believe what God says will be destroyed, and we looked at that earlier when the Lord Jesus Christ referred to the second death. He continues and says, As also emphatically I received and continue to receive from my Father. The Lord Jesus Christ has received authority. He has permitted rights. He can do many, many things according to God's word or God's instructions to him. And Jesus Christ says, and I will give to him, that is the one who is being victorious, that one who keeps my works, I will to give to him the star, emphatically and specifically the early star. That's referring to the Lord Jesus Christ himself. We'll see that again in Revelation chapter 22 and in verse 16. So this person will have all that I am and all that I have available to him also. And then he closes out the message to the church in Thyatira by saying, the person having an ear must hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Now this is very important information that we have read and we've looked at it chapters 1-2 and we will progress in our next session to chapter 3 because the Lord Jesus Christ is making known very detailed information to the churches. Those that existed during John's lifetime, which would also refer to churches in the world today. Those who may claim to be Christian but are not. And those who really are Christians. By the word Christian, I mean holy people. Those who receive the gift of Holy Spirit today. The Lord Jesus Christ is giving us so much information regarding what's available today, what we can do, how we can behave. And also, a lot of this information will apply to those that will live during the next age 
after holy people, after us Christians, have been gathered together with the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. At that time, the day of the Lord, the implementation of many, many judgments coming from God, the Lord Jesus Christ will implement them at that time. 